Hi, I'm Daz. I've got here a realistic SCP-32 stereo cassette tape player. Um, realistic is a brand of Tandy, Tandy when Tandy was in the UK. I guess it's called Radio Shack in the US and it's no more I guess as well. Um, I found this lingering at a car boot sale. It didn't cost a lot of money. It's not in the best of condition. The head is worn, unfortunately. But I thought I'd just show it to you anyway, because it's a, uh, it may be of interest. Um, why would you want a playback only cassette player? Hmm, good question. Well, I guess it could be used at a place of work to just play back music tapes for entertainment, or perhaps when you're running a public address system and you wish to play some background music as well. So I guess that would be a use for a playback only unit. Um, this unit is auto reverse. It also has a chrome equalization or metal equalization switch um, for equalization and also it's fitted with Dolby B, believe it or not, which surprised me. Um, control wise, you can control re continuous repeat or play just two sides or one or play one side then the other, then stop. It's large play control, fast forward and rewind. Which I've said in the wrong order. Stop eject. There's a direction control and a pause control, which I suppose is useful for queuing. Um, I guess this unit is from around about 89 or 90. Um, so it, it's quite an old unit now, but uh, very simply, there's, you've just got the front panel and a couple of RCAs at the back, and that's basically all you've got. Now, I've noticed some screws at the back and the side. I haven't been in it yet, surprisingly, and surprisingly it actually works. So let's pop a tape in and just have a quick listen. very hard to hear but you can probably hear it taking the treble off and of course turning the Dolby on as it's not a Dolby encoded tape it just makes it sound compounded. Just show you inside the uh, deck mechanism as you can see there's two pinch wheels and they're very small pinch wheels I must say. Um, there's your tape head just the playback head and you can probably see it's a little bit worn. Now it seems to be a mechanical auto reverse so even though it's not playing if I flip this switch you'll see the head flip there so there's one set of tracks and there's the other set of tracks I'll just push the play button so you can see the pinch wheels running there's one running now this doesn't appear to have an auto stop as such um, but what it does do is when the spool, take up spool stops, it will auto reverse. So I shall try and do this without putting my fingers too much in the way. If I can just get my finger on the take up spool and just stall it. There we go. Let's just change direction and do it to the other one. There we go. So yeah, that'll keep doing that in for deity unless you've got the play both sides and then it'll auto stop. So if I switch that on, I now stall it that way, it's flipped once. If I stall it that way, it's now auto stopped. Well, of course I'm gonna take it apart, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, it's interesting. The preamplifier appears to be in a screen metal box. And uh, you can see the lid that I've just taken off. It's a single-ended IC, a C1228A, I believe, if I've read it correctly. And that's in the screen box. And you, you can see the screen cable connected to it from the heads. Um, the Dolby IC is there just see and that appears to be a 2063 AD marked JRC um, 
power transformers on the board. Um, it's a reasonable distance from the heads. Um, just a single speed motor with adjuster there. Um, discrete bridge rectifier. Smoothing capacitor. And there's a zener and a resistor here, so there is some sort of regulated supply on here. There's a couple of presets up here, if they're showing. Um, which are marked left and right, so I guess they're playback levels. Perhaps they set up the Dolby level even to make sure that tracks correctly. Um, looking at the uh, mechanism, got a couple of uh, flywheels, plastic one side and sort of a metal penny on the other side. They, they're reasonably thick and they, they actually feel reasonably heavy. The belt is reasonably tight. Um, these two gears here appear to be connected to fast forward and rewind so they go in and transfer the power to one side of the uh, take up and, and uh, supply spools and they are got two gears and there's a clutch in between so obviously what's happening there is um, on take up it goes through the clutch but on fast forward and rewind it's directly connected to the spool so that's it then, that's the inside of the realistic stereo cassette playback deck. An interesting interesting uh, little deck and uh, I bought it just for the novelty really. I, I don't really need any more cassette decks as I think you well know by now. Anyway, thanks for watching. And